Hello YouTubers, I'm Justin and today, well, we're finally going to do the review of this little uh, Polaroid Go camera. Now this camera is awesome for the fact that it is so small. I really have enjoyed using this camera and the fact that it's just a tiny camera has been a super plus about it. Now it's not necessarily the most advanced Instamatic camera and it definitely doesn't have a lot of features like some of the more advanced Instamatic cameras from other brands but it is a fun camera to use. Now, it basically has very basic features. You've got a flash, you've got double exposure, you basically have got um, a very basic readout to tell you how many shots are left. You've got your charging port here for micro USB charging. Unfortunately, it's not USB-C, um, and your viewfinder, and of course your firing trigger. Um, and that's pretty much it. And of course, also you can put a little strap or lanyard there. Okay, so what I want to do basically next is I'm going to compare the Polaroid Go with the Instac Mini 8 here. Now, these two cameras are very similar in that they are very basic in their features. They don't have Bluetooth or any special features. Um, the Instac does have a few more picture profiles that the uh, Polaroid Go doesn't have, but overall they're basically just point and shoot cameras. So I'm going to do a bit of a comparison with these two cameras. But for now, let's um, load up the film in the Polaroid Go and um, we'll see how we do that. And then also we'll go and have a look at um, some shots with this Polaroid Go camera. So I've got some Polaroid Go film. Now they come in these packs of uh, two, so you get 16 shots. So I imagine it's eight shots in each one. So let's um, just open this up and we'll have a look and see how this comes in this packeting. So yeah, so you get two uh, film canisters and you can only buy them in this uh, format at this stage. Basically you have to buy a double pack. They don't sell them in a single pack, which is a bit of a shame. And they don't sell any sort of variety of different uh, boulders or anything like they do with the Instac um, minis. So anyway, let's um, get one of these film canisters out and we'll load it into the Polaroid Go. So now we've got the uh, film canister out, as you can see, it's got the usual uh, marking point here and I imagine that's to match up where you put it. So if we just click this little button here, you can see this opens up and you can see you've got this marking point here and so that obviously marks where it's meant to go as it connects to the two. So when I shut this, it will probably print out a blank or I'll have to turn it on and it will print out a blank. But either way, it will. the first shot out of this uh, film canister is going to be a blank. So there we go, we have got a blank and that is the uh, protection for protecting the film. So now this camera is primed and ready to go and take actual shots. So before we do that, we'll just come back to this little packet here and we'll open this up and see what we've actually got in here, what's something to look at. So we've got these little uh, stickers things here. So I suppose you can put those inside, display your favorite, um, oh I see. So you can put these up on the wall and they're double-sided little sticky pads. So you can actually uh, put these images up on things. So that's quite cool that they include that, which is something you don't get with the uh, Fuji Instamatic film canisters. So while we're also loading cameras, I thought I'd also get some film for the Instat one because I want to do a comparison anyway. So I basically found this one here, which is the black boulder one. Um, so we're going to do the same here. We're just going to load this up and we'll just have um, this canister as well. Now this doesn't come with stickers and just like the Go, it's got the same marking points. So you've got the two marking points like so. So when you put that in like that, it should, when you first press the button, so like the other one, it's just going to print out a blank and as you can see it's got a blank and it comes from the top. So that is also now ready and primed. So next let's um, take some pictures with this camera and also the Polaroid Go camera which I've got here and we'll have a bit of a comparison and see what those shots are like. Okay, so I've taken a shot with both of these cameras now, and as you can see, they're slowly developing. So on this side, of course, is the Instac, and this one is the Polaroid Go. So we'll see how quick um, they develop in real time. So I'll just let this uh, shot run, and we'll just see how quick these actually fully develop.
Okay, so um, after a long wait, the Polaroid Go finally started to show some image. Um, now, one of the things I've noticed straight away is that the Fuji Instac uh, film uh, develops very quickly compared to the Polaroid Go. In fact, it's probably four times as quick. And that is a factor that is pretty annoying. Um, another thing I've noticed too is that the Instac um, produces a much better picture than the Polaroid Go. And that's a big uh, negative to the Polaroid Go. Uh, the film also in the Instac is a lot cheaper than the Polaroid Go. So really, from just a few basic tests that I've done, I've come to the conclusion that the Polaroid Go is not really a great camera to get if you're into Instamatic film. You'd be better off getting a Fuji Instamatic camera, uh, especially some of the lower end ones. They're very cheap and they produce pretty decent images where the Polaroid Go, it produces okay stuff, but it's not that great. Probably the biggest plus for the Polaroid Go is the fact that it is um, extremely compact and it looks pretty neat and it definitely has that retro vibe about it. But if you're after a pretty decent uh, Instamatic camera and you don't want to break your budget, I'd go with one of the Instamatic uh, Instac cameras from Fuji. They're definitely much better than the Polaroid Go. You can pick up the lower end ones a lot cheaper and also the film is a lot cheaper. So overall from me, I can't really recommend the Polaroid Go as an Instamatic camera to people. Anyway, I'm Justin and as always, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.